I've had to long accept the fact that comic books and, and, and their depictions right now, as well, let's backtrack a little bit. It was a gift and a curse when we saw a comic book film and, and, or get like a lot, all this money, right, and attention. The gift ends that because it's an investment, right? So you're seeing these big studios, production companies that are like, we want in. They want in on the action. So you're seeing characters that, or you expected to see characters that you know and you love if you are a comic book guy that you've read, right? That you've read, uh, read up on, become knowledgeable on. And so that should make the longtime comic book fan exciting. Like I've been reading this book and now I get to see uh, more, more live action manifestations of the character. Um, or groups of characters. And that is an awesome thing. That's a good feeling. It should be. Should be. Problem is, it's Hollywood. It happened. It couldn't happen at a worse time. I think if we lived in that era in the early 20, like what, 2008 ish, right? Where, um, uh, era, where movies like Tropic Thunder could come out, right? Uh, and uh, that was after Iron Man was before that, but you, you know, you get what I'm saying. So, the thing about that is, is that that was a different era where, it seemed like they were more, more, um, it was more intriguing, let's say, to do this type of content and just try to make decent content. The Marvel Cinematic Universe was not built on woke bullshit, period. It just wasn't. Um, it got built because it was a foundation that was laid slowly but surely, but it was laid nonetheless. However, now it's just a weird era where you got people that are obsessed with this, to uh, with this, with this activism, but also. Uh, with the revival, which started with Blade, not Iron Man, by the way, with Marvel, on, on Marvel sense, right, of, of, of reviving Marvel uh, and people's, like, belief in, in, in Marvel comics uh, movies. But now that it's become more popular, people are wanting in on it, this industry, the, book, cook, the books aren't selling more because the books are getting worse, and I think it's because they're bringing people from that side of the industry um, and as well as these activists who are writing this work. But effectively now, and I think you're starting to see as you're getting like very, very in inaccurate depictions of characters uh, that are coming about, and it's not it's not fun for the for the audience um, that reads books. So right now, effectively, because it's become popular, everybody wants in on the action. Effectively, comic book, film, and TV are just vanity projects for these guys. I'm going to explain what I mean by that. But the vanity projects in a sense in the comic book film or the comic book movie, it's just vanity projects. These are aspects in which, okay, actors, actresses, um, directors, they see an opportunity to film writers, even uh, the screenwriters and whatever, they see an opportunity to advance their career. And all eyes are on this industry. It's very exciting. This is why you get people like Jack Schaefer, who we had covered twice. We covered her before Black Widow. She, she's also a screenwriter for Black Widow. But she was the one that also did some work with um, with uh, the whole WandaVision thing. And so you sit in there and wonder, wonder, like, okay, there's so many aspects. You introduce Agatha, you introduce all this stuff. There's so many aspects you could have taken that was influenced by the source material. No. What happened? What happened with, uh, with, 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 uh, with that? Well, we hear Jack Schaefer admit after the damn, when she's on like the promotional thing tours, she admits she had no idea who Mephisto was. She didn't know who she was. How, how, how do you get to write the twins in particular? Because there's no twins without Mephisto. You get to write the twins in, in, in specific and have no idea who Mephisto is. The reason why stuff like that is, is because these are just people that have zero connection to even, even, uh, Jack Schaefer. She had said talking about the black widow movie long ago. I covered this like way, way back when I first heard about Jack Schaefer and she's like, well, I don't want to use source material. That's that's discriminatory or some dumb shit like that. And I'm sitting there like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? They're vanity projects, guys. These people just want in on the action, and now it's an industry that has all these eyes. And that's what makes it suck for me as a fan because I know more money is being spent and more investments being spent. But now I have to, it's just an exp expectation that when I'm watching whatever it is that I'm watching, 
that shit ain't gonna be nothing like whatever it is that I'm reading in any of these books. I finally put on my book, so I can't like grab a book like near me. Uh, put them up now. I have an encyclopedia though. I guess I can show that. Oh, it's a book, it's an Iron Man book. Um, yeah. So it's like those characters are not gonna be anything like they should be. I have to expect that now. Source material is discriminatory, discriminatory. So it's like when you get stuff like Jack Schaefer not knowing who it is that they are. I Man, I probably should have found, figured that out when that, you know when you got black ass guardians with don't make the damn shit. These characters ain't gonna look and act nothing like like what. Well, they may look. They may have a suit. Get granted, Spider Man. Now, objectively speaking, I'm not here to argue your opinion because we we can't discuss opinion. I'm here to talk about what what exists and what I read. Peter Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is by far of the three that we've seen in recent years. He's the worst one, and it's not even close. I don't care how much you dislike Spider Man, uh, you know, Amazing Spider Man, or or you don't like, uh, um, you know, Sam Raimi Spider Man. It doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. It's them two. It's Andrew and, and, and what's his name, and 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 then you got Tom Holland Spider Man, who's like way down here. Right, because he's not anything close to Peter Parker. Not just in how he acts, but more so with how he interacts with the other characters. He's looking up to fucking Iron Man. That doesn't make sense. But wait a minute. When you consider that going forward, these are just vanity projects for these guys, they are going to change whatever it is that they want to change. They don't care. Like Marvel says, hey man, we got these characters, here's a sheet. Here's their powers. And here's like a little sentence with their relationship in terms of how they interact with the other character. It's like they look at that and they say, okay, yeah, we'll pull, we'll pull in that character. I'm going to change this, this, and that because I want to show the world what it is that I can do. Right? I want to show the world what it is that I can do. You want to know, know what also is proof? It's not just with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know what else is also proof? A movie that is proof that this shit is a vanity project. Black, uh, what was that? Fucking Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey is a prime example of it. It probably is better example of it than anything else. Well, you got uh, the chick that plays Harley Quinn. I think her studio was the one that produced it. And then you have characters that don't act nothing like themselves. That ain't the Birds of Prey. They ain't even no Oracle. There's that ain't the Birds of Prey. Black Canary. I mean, aside from her being tokenized, that's not even the worst of it. When what they did to Cassandra Cain was 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 criminal that was whatever that chick's name i forget her name uh what's her name roby margo what roby i think robbie or some shit whatever her name vanity project that's all it was Fuck a vanity project now usually when you think vanity project you think oh, okay i want to showcase myself and then it ends up failing sometimes it's not because they're not appealing they're not appealing to guys like me not anymore. They're appealing to normies. This is why normies that eat whatever. Some normies will eat whatever it is you throw at them. You can uh, you can have Spider Man doing un Spider Man like stuff, acting like when I talk about Peter Parker, not acting like P, acting like somebody else. But he's in a blue and red suit and he's web slinging. That's good enough for them. Get some explosions in the background. That's all you need. Birds of Prey was a vanity project, though. That's a that's probably a better example. Probably should have started off with that because what that was is they took characters that existed in the books, shoehorned Harley Quinn. She had nothing to do with Birds of Prey, right? Nothing. Shoehorned her, removed who the OG because I mean the, the OG or, uh, like Oracle and and Birds of Prey was Oracle and Black Canary. That was Birds of Prey. That that's what it was. And then you had like Helena um, um, uh, Huntress joining at some point. And then so if you consider like three birds of prey, I can uh, consider them three. Right. And Huntress was in the movie. She's weird and awkward. Like none of these, none of those, like none of them really. But especially what they did with Cassandra Cain was goddamn criminal. That was that, that was criminal. It's simply it's 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 uh, vanity projects. So now I have to sit here and look at comic book filming, comic book um, material that's being created 
And I can't get excited. I simply can't. Will I watch it and review it? Of course. But I can't get excited about that because these are instances where it's just popular right now. And people, directors, actors, actresses, um, film writers, screenwriters, they just went in on the action. So they are, they're going to tell their story in any event that the source material gets in the way. And whether that be just a story they wanted to tell or activism, they will then rewrite characters to where they're nothing like themselves. If that means advancing whatever narrative it is they wanted to tell. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.